For learners who don't have literacy in any of their languages, reading and writing should build on their English speaking skills. You might remember that when you first learned to read and write in school, you were reading and writing words that you could already say. The same is true for your learner. You want to focus on reading and writing activities that use the words, phrases, and sentences that your learner already uses when they speak in English. A good way to do this is to work with your learner to create a piece of their own writing. In these activities, the learner tells a story, and you, the tutor, write it down. This story will then be the basis of reading and writing lessons. There are a variety of ways to help your learner create a piece of writing. You can share an experience with your learner, such as a trip to a store or a walk through a garden. You can ask your learner to narrate a series of pictures, such as from a book of picture stories. Or you can ask your learner to bring in a favorite photo or piece of art that they have created. Your learner can then talk about the item. In this video, the learner has selected a page from a book of picture stories, and she describes what she sees in the drawing in each panel of the story. This video demonstrates strategies for working with learners who don't have literacy in any of their languages. In Chapter 1, you'll see a learner and tutor creating a story using a sequence of drawings from a book of picture stories. As the learner talks about each picture, the tutor writes the learner's words exactly as she says them. The resulting story serves as the springboard for many reading and writing activities that will be shown in the chapters that follow. Hey, Berekti, how's it going this week? Good. Good, yeah. Well, what about you? I'm um, great. Thank you for asking. So, uh, you know, we've been working on writing, and this week I wanted to try using pictures to tell a story. And you're going to describe what's in these pictures that I've got here from this book, but I'm going to be doing all the hard work. I'm going to be writing down what you say. So, okay. Yeah, you don't need to worry about anything. Okay. Uh, if you Thank don't you. know a word, no problem. Just keep going. Uh, and we'll see what kind of story we can tell. If I need you to um, slow down because my hand is getting tired, I'll let you know, okay? Okay. All right, so okay. here's Thank the book. You. Okay. Now, I think we've talked about this before, so I think you know some of the vocabulary here. Yeah. Can you tell me what's going on in the first picture? Yeah, the, the boy is playing in the boxy sun was a basket, bucket. <laughs> um, the girl, she's lying. They are in the playground, the kids. Oh, one second. I'm, I'm behind you. You're so fast and so okay, good. I'm so sorry. No, don't apologize. It's fine. The girl, <laughs> so she is sliding. That's my nature. Great. Okay. And what did you say? Um, here? Yeah. Um, the, the, here is, they look like a girl or so. They, she, she swing. Swing. Got it. Uh, I forget about that to play in the... Uh, I know, that's a hard uh, one. The, so we, yeah. we'd say seesaw. Oh, okay, seesaw. Yeah. They play in the seesaw. Uh, they look to girl. Yeah. Here is uh, the girl also. She's lying in the playground. Where? In the playground. She's what is she the, doing? Sly. She's she's lying. I think she's here sliding swing. here, swinging. Here, here is climb, climb, yeah, okay. yeah climb. I'm so just, sorry. Don't say sorry. It's okay. <laughs> climb. Okay. She's, Can you say it again? She. She's climb. Great. Um, How about the last uh, one? The last one. She's uh, she's thirsty. She look like drinking water. Very good. Yeah. So where are they? They are in the playground, playing. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Look at that. Th thank you. Yeah, you should be proud. You got a whole story here. Nice yeah. job. Okay, you ready? So I'm just going to read the story out loud, and I'm going to point where I'm at with my finger, and you can tell me if, if I made a mistake or you want me to change anything. Okay? okay. And okay. I'm happy to change it. All right? oh, okay. You know, thank you. I might not have heard it quite right. All right. Okay. So here we go. You ready? Okay. Okay. 
The boy is playing in the boxy sand with a bucket. The girl, she is sliding. The girl, also, she swing. They playing in the seesaw. She is climb. She's thirsty. She look like drinking water. They are in the playground playing. Is there anything you want to change? No. You happy? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, me too. I'm happy. Great. <laughs> nice. Before this activity, the tutor typed the learner's story and printed it, making it easier for the learner to read and for the tutor to create activities from the learner's story. In this chapter, the focus is on reading the story. In the beginning, the tutor provides a lot of support. With each additional reading, the tutor provides less support and the learner reads increasingly independently until she feels ready to read the whole story on her own. Echo reading, where the tutor reads and the learner repeats, provides the most support. In duet reading, where the tutor and learner read together at the same time, there is less support because the learner gets help only when needed. The tutor is using a strategy called whole, part, whole. Since the learner is familiar with the spoken English used in the story, the next step is to work with the written language in the learner's story, starting with meaning. This is the whole in whole part whole. Activities that focus on the whole include echo reading, duet reading, assisted reading, silent reading, ordering word cards or sentence strips, developing sight word vocabulary, and discussing the story. All right, Brechti. So now we're going to look at the same story. And this is the story that you were looking at before. And now yeah. it's been printed out. Okay. But it's exactly how you wrote it. Okay. Okay? Or exactly how I wrote it. How, okay. you, how you said it. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is just read. And you can just follow with me, but I'll do the reading. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to read and have you repeat. But the first time, okay. I'll read. You, okay. don't, you don't have to speak. Just okay. follow with me. Okay. okay. The boy is playing in the boxy sand with a bucket. The girl, she is sliding. The girl, also, she swing. They playing in the seesaw. She is climb. She's thirsty. She look like drinking water. They are in the playground playing. Okay, so okay. now, are you ready? Sure. I'm, I'm going to read and I want you to repeat after me, okay? okay? Okay. The boy is playing in the boxy sand with a bucket. The boys, <clears throat> the boys playing in the boxy and sand or the, or the bucket. Nice job. Very good. <laughs> Next, the girl she is sliding. The girl she is sliding. Okay. Very good. The girl also she swing. The girl also she swing. Nice job. They playing in the seesaw. They playing in the seesaw. Good job. She is climb. She is climb. Yeah, easy, right? <laughs> She's thirsty. She look like drinking water. She's thirsty. She looking like drinking water. Good. They are in the playground playing. They are in the playground playing. Perfect. All right. Now let's try it together. Okay. okay. So we're going to talk at the same time. Okay. okay. So, ready? Yeah. The, the boy is playing in the boxy box sand, sand with a, a bucket. Box. Nice. The, the girl, girl, she is sliding. Swing. The girl, also, she swing. They playing in the seesaw. The sea. Good job. Okay. She, she is climbing. Climb. She's thirsty. She, she look like, like drinking water. water. Good. They, they are in the, the playground, playground playing. playing. Nice job. Okay. Now, do you think you want to try reading it alone? Just you? Sure. Okay, great. Let's start with the first one. Okay. The boys is playing in the box. She see the basket. Good. But <laughs> the girls, she is swing. Good. The girl is also shoe swing. Good. 
the they playing and the sex 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 seesaw <laughs> seesaw yeah seesaw. good job and that one's hard <laughs> she is climb perfect she is she is thirsty. She is thirsty. Thirsty. She is okay. thirsty. She look like drinking water. Perfect. They are and they play groundy playing. Nice job. That was perfect. Great work. This whole activity provides meaning-focused reading practice by having the learner read and match the sentences to the familiar story. Putting the sentences in order is like rewriting the story, but without having the stress of forming letters and words by hand. Okay, so that was really good job with this. Thank now you. I've got here the exact same sentences. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, yeah. okay? I've got all seven of those here on okay. smaller pieces. So I'm gonna keep this here for you, okay? okay? So it's no secret. But what I want you to do is take them, mm -hmm. try putting them in the same order so it tells yeah. the same story oh, okay. here. Okay? I, I, I read it and I do, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try your best. Look at it next to each okay. other. I think this one is here. Right, so we got the boy is playing, yeah. right? The boy yes. is playing. Okay, the girl, she is sliding. Yeah, okay, good. Cup. The girl, mm. she also swing. They playing in the seesaw. Mm. Yeah. She is climbing. She's thirsty. Let's see. You happy? Mm -hmm. I think so. Like yeah, this. nice job. You got mm -hmm. it exactly right. Nice work. Mm -hmm. So, the next thing I want to do, mm -hmm. if you can, is to just read it again. It's the same okay. story, okay. but this time let's read from here. Okay. The the boys is playing. The boys is playing in the box. Sun was the bas bucket. Nice. The girls, she is slaying. 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 The girls also she is swimming. They they playing in the in the so-so. Mm -hmm. She is climb. Mm -hmm. They, she is thirsty. She look like drinky water. They are in the playground playing. Nice job. Very good work. You're getting faster and faster. That's great. Writing without having the stress of forming letters and words by hand, helps learners to see how sentences are made up of words. In this whole activity, the tutor has chosen to focus on the first sentence of the story because the learner is ready to deal with that many words. In addition, the first sentence has words that are repeated throughout the story. Next, we're gonna use these word cards here. You can okay. see, here we had whole sentences, right? Mm -hmm. These are just one word each. Okay. Right? Now, these words only make up one of these sentences. It's actually the first one. Okay? So I'm gonna take these away for now. Okay. We're just gonna focus on the very first sentence, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna mix them up so it's not too easy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Gotta work a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask you, can you tell me how many words are there here? How many words do you see? Uh, how many words? Mm -hmm. Playing in the, mm -hmm. in the box, mm -hmm. the basket. Um, so one, 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 two, two. Oh, you three. need all? Yeah, oh, how many? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, 11. Eight, 11. Yeah, nice 11. job. Good. So we've got 11 cards here. Okay. I want you to put them in the same order as the sentence. Can uh, you, there? Yep, same sentence. Can you do it? I think, okay. I think so. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
have. Yeah, where does the boxy go? Um, the box is going um, after the sound. After the sound or no, before? No, before, before. Okay, good. Yeah. So, yeah. is it good? What do you think? Yeah, the boys. Mm -hmm. The boys good. is. Ah, nice job. <laughs> is uh, is playing mm -hmm. in the in in the uh -huh. box box yeah uh, yeah and the box soundy was a but. Basket, bucket. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Nice job. You got it exactly right. Yeah, very good. Excellent work. In this chapter, the tutor is focusing on a part activity. Part activities focus on the building blocks of literacy. He selected one letter that is in the beginning of words and one word ending. He selected the letter B because there are several in the story. He selected ing because it occurs several times in the story and it's a common word ending in English. Focusing on just one beginning letter and one word ending allows the learner to focus on word parts that are very common and useful while not getting overwhelmed. As always, it's essential to use language that the learner has produced and is comfortable with. This kind of activity helps the learner learn to scan across text for information an important reading skill. It also helps her to know the relationship between English letters and sounds. Okay, so this next part, what I wanna do is, is focus on the parts of the words. Okay. You've been doing a really good job reading the whole words. Thank but you. Yeah, but we also need to know the individual parts. That could mean one letter or several letters in a row. Okay. Um, that will help with reading and writing okay. when we scan. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look here at these many, many words, okay. right? But I only want to focus on the words that begin with the sound B or the letter B. And okay. if you see a word like that, I just want you to circle it like this, right? Okay. Boy, right? But instead of doing it on the card, let's do it here. So do you want, do you want a nice big thick pen or do you want a small thin pen yeah there you go so we're looking for words that begin with b from this one from this one in any of the sentences oh, if ba. you see b b b at the beginning of a word please put a circle around it and the beginning here yeah? yeah only the beginning Nice job. So, we think you're on the, okay. I want you to notice you've done something really interesting here, which is you've circled all of the b sounds, which is perfect. You've also circled the p sounds, which is something oh. we talked about before. Remember we talked about that voicing? Mm -hmm. So can you hear the difference between b, 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 b and p, 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 p? Can you hear it? They're so close because the lips are doing exactly the same thing. Mm. P, p. The only difference is right here in the throat. Mm. But we can keep working on that another week. Mm. So, okay. nice job. Yeah, you've gotten all the b, 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 b boy, boxy, bucket. Bucket. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Play. Okay, so now I'd like to look at one more part of a word and focus on that. Okay. Instead of b, mm -hmm. that sound, I would like to focus on ing. Mm, okay. In English. You want to in on you or so only, the ing? Only on. ing. So in English, we make the sound ing with ing in writing. Yeah. So anytime you say, see ing here, mm. please try to circle it. Yeah. 
Now here, you found playing, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you see that up here? Yeah. Nice. Um, this one is too, yeah. Exactly right. Uh, nice job. Yeah. Perfect. Get a shoe. Excellent work. Yeah, so you found them all. Playing, mm. sliding, mm -hmm. swing, playing, drinking, and playing again. Mm. Nice job. Really perfect. Uh, the, because the in, too? No. Mm -hmm. in? Well, let's talk about it. So you circled in here. Yeah. <laughs> but notice that in and ing, mm. they have a different sound, right? It's uh, yeah. very <laughs> close. It's very, very close, <laughs> right? But, but they so are actually different. Okay. Yeah? Okay. But otherwise, it's perfect. In this chapter, the learner and tutor are focusing on the same word parts as in the previous activity. But in this activity, the learner has to write the target word parts instead of only recognizing them, which is a more difficult step. The tutor has prepared a worksheet that has space for the learner to write what the tutor says, and then copy each word several times, associating the spoken word with the written word. Okay, so I want to do just one more activity today with the okay. story that you've made. Okay. So take a look at this sheet I have here. Um, we're going to focus on this, some of the same words that we found in the story just a moment ago. Mm -hmm. um, first, we're going to look at three words that all start with the same first letter, okay? I'm gonna say the word, okay. and I want you to write the letter. Okay. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try. Sure. Okay? okay? All right, so number one, boy. 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 Perfect, nice job. Number two, boxy. Box. Boxy. Box. Good. Number three, bucket. Bucket. That's right, bucket. Very good. So, can you say that sound? B. Ba. Ba. Perfect. Ba. Bucket. Nice job. Ba. Bucket. Boxy. Boxy. Boy. Boy. Perfect. All right. Now, let's do word endings, okay? Okay. We'll do the I-N-G, mm -hmm. right? So, I want you to write the ending of each word. I will say them, okay? okay. Number four. Playing. 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 That's perfect. Nice job. Yeah. Number five, sliding. Sliding, okay. Sliding. Sliding. Nice job, perfect. Six, drinking. Drinking. Drinking, yeah. Drinking. That's perfect, mm -hmm. excellent. So now, what I want you to do is just write the same word again. In other words, copy, okay. right? Okay. So copy the word for number one okay. here. Boy. Boy. Perfect. Boxy. Box. Uh -huh. Good. Bucket. Bucket. That's perfect. All right, number four, playing. Play. Playing. Perfect. Playing. What is it? Sliding. Sliding. Dringy. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Look at that. So we practiced word beginnings yeah. and word endings mm -hmm. with six words. Yeah. Really good job and great pronunciation. Thank you. Nice work, Brett. At the end of every tutoring session, it's a good idea to ask your learner to reflect on their experience, whether they enjoyed the activities, and what helped them to learn. Reflecting on their own learning experience builds the skill of monitoring one's own learning, which is an effective learning strategy. Encourage your learner to do more of the things that help their own learning and to do fewer of the things that don't help. All right, so today we practice taking a story in your own words based on these pictures, if you remember, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then 
I was the one who wrote them down, but then we could see how your words get translated from speech into writing here. And then when we looked at the writing, we saw how each sentence was made of individual words, and each word was made of individual sounds, like ing or b. Mm -hmm. So I think it's been really helpful. Uh, how, has, how has this session been for you? Have you learned something here? Um, yeah, I'm too happy too, because I started to how to spell it for you. Yeah, I mean, the spelling, word, yeah, spelling I mean, was no, excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, so you spell it for me, but to, <laughs> to, to read the story and to answer for me, and I, I, I'm, I'm reading. Yeah, I think you did. After that, um, I, I know that you're a little bit anxious about spelling correctly, so mm -hmm, I, I think mm -hmm. it was really good to slow down and make sure that we get it exactly right for certain words. And when you did the worksheet, you did it perfectly. You remember? Mm -hmm. I didn't have to correct anything. So you should feel Thank really you. good about that. Okay. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. You've just seen a tutor working with a learner who does not have literacy in any of her languages. The activities in each chapter show how to work on reading and writing using a whole part whole strategy. The activities are based on the learner telling a story from a wordless picture book. 